Well, we will be looking out for that. But as we sit here now, I mean, you've said we should be sounding the alarm bells. What? How do you think history is going to remember this moment? And what do you think the future is of the Republican Party? Because the race is close. Well, look, the, the future of the Republican Party could depend on a number of things. The outcome of this election, look, as, as, as bad a performance as Trump delivered last night, this is still a very competitive election. He can win. Uh, so if, if, if but if he if he does lose, the question is, will Republicans see this as an opportunity to pivot away from him? I certainly thought after January 6th, there was we were the, the party was in full pivot mode and until it, it, it allowed him back in. Uh, and so I think after this election, and this is why our Republican legacy is going to stick around, we, we want to make sure that uh, that we have this debate. Uh, and I think it's going to be a, um, a, a even more. Uh, it's going to be. A, it's going to be a more. It's going to be a louder debate. It's going to be a, a more vigorous debate after the election, particularly if Trump loses the presidency. And Republicans are going to have to stand there and say, "Here we go again." You know, we haven't won a presidential race. You know, it'll be four, the four-year blip of Donald Trump, eight years of Obama, and then you'll have you know eight years of you know uh, Biden Harris, and uh, and is this how we want to be known as a party is it maybe perhaps a regional party uh, that can you know only win in certain areas and we just don't have a broad enough national appeal and we have not talked enough about how do we talk to independent and swing voters and I get back to our core principles the principles we have been espousing are not just principles that Republicans can embrace these are principles that independents embrace and frankly many Democrats embrace but we have to be able to do that. And, and what I've seen in this campaign so far from Donald Trump, he's done nothing to reach out to the center of the country. He simply doubled down on MAGA through his vice presidential selection and through most things he does and, and says, he's just simply talking to his base. He goes out there and he talks about uh, Hannibal Lecter. He talks about all the grievances against him, January 6th, and you know, uh, pardoning the people who uh, attacked the Capitol and all those police officers. He, he, these are not things that are really persuading independent voters who think maybe, you know, I'm not sure how I should vote. Oh, he's talking about that again. No, he's not doing anything to bring them into the fold. At least I can say for Kamala Harris, she's trying to bring people into the fold. She is trying to moderate and she's taking some heat for it because she's uh, having to reverse herself on the Green New Deal and Medicare for all and fracking and, and other issues. So. And that's the problem. I mean, like I said, they're they're serious about winning the Democrats. That's why they substituted out Harris or Biden. That's why she's trying to moderate. The Re Republican Party, on the other hand, un under Trump, isn't trying to moderate, isn't trying to reach out. It is simply doubling down on the base. And they think that's enough to get them through the election. And maybe it will, but it's he's, the ceiling is very low. Trump hasn't gotten more than 47 percent of the vote. So I, why do we think he's going to do much better this time? You know, we need to the party needs to get over over 50 percent and we're just not there so again this conversation is only going to get louder and angrier if, if the party loses well congressman i hope the conversation can continue between you and i between now and election day i really appreciate your thoughts today thanks for joining me thank you Brittany.